Well, how do that, chums? It is I, Captain Stephen X, and today, chums, I'm building a simple base. A basic base for you guys out there in the viewer verse. And this one I'm building at a trading post. I'm building this at a trading post inside of the NMSA hub. And this is in that system that I found, chums. Well, I say I found. James P. Vale found this one. And yes, it's in the system that has the red, white, and black station, which I hope to claim one day. And I've been naming stuff here, and for some reason, some of the creatures that I named have not kept their names. Heck no, they haven't. What a pain in the frickin' backside. Even the planet hasn't kept its name that I gave it. No, it hasn't. But yeah, some of the creatures have and some of them haven't. How weird is that? Anyhow, let's press on on with a base build. So yes, I am building at a trading post after seeing King VI the first build a base. I put a card up to his base up there. Take a look at that, because he actually built a base that looks like a trading post. And yeah, it's really deceptive to the eye. I thought it was a trading post at first chums freaking amazing base go check out that video if you haven't seen it already i mean yeah finish watching this one first maybe hey <laughs> okay so here we go i'm going to try building on the actual trading post itself so can i put a door dead center of this ramp hmm i don't know whether it's going to let me let's give it a go and yeah i want to put it there is it going to let me it freaking is i think it is that's a green state yeah I can, I can build on the freaking trading post. This is freaking insane. Okay, I can't build there though. Oh, I'm missing the component. I need some glass. I tell you what, I'll speed up the footage and we'll try and build here at this trading post. I can encompass all of the NPCs. Let's speed this up a bit. So I can use some girders. That's okay. I can get those in. Not a problem. Awesome. So I can wall all this in. Oh, that looks pretty damn freaking sweet. Let's put some down here. Let's see how we get on. Let's get some glass from my freighter. Let's see if we can put in all the front. Oh, look at that. It's gone squiffy. The trading post is not level. Ah, oh, fudge. You know what? I don't think it's worth building like this. If this was straight, it would be okay. Because at the moment, that's gone off really on a, a squiff. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't build in there. What a shame. But I'm fairly sure, I'm fairly confident, people, you could probably use that idea if you can find a trading post that is on the square. As long as it's on the level and not on the squiff like mine is, you should be able to get away with that, chums. How cool is that? You'd have a load of NPCs. And then if you build all your desks in there, like your tech desks, it would feel like a living, breathing little mini community. Heck yes, it would. That would be freaking sweet as, wouldn't it? There we go. Right, so I'm going to have to rethink this. Hmm, so I want to keep this really plain and simple, mainly for basic base building, just to show the community that you can build a very functional, cool base without having to do anything glitchy or too technical. So I'm going to just use all the prefab parts. And you know what? I'm going to build something coming off of this end sort of jettison here. So it's behind this third sort of landing pad. Let's put a staircase in and let's see if I can just build off the side. And yeah, I can use this landing strip, these sort of painted lines. Oh fudge, someone's just joined my freaking iteration. And I don't want them coming down here and I don't really want them building or discovering stuff in the system yet. It's not quite ready. There we go. I turned off multiplayer. Let's put in three little stairs. Ah oh, fudge, you've got a ship land on me. Oh, look at that. There's a needle nose fighter here, chums, with a droid in the wing. Heck yes. Awesome little ship. I'll give you the coordinates later, just in case you want to pick any of this stuff up. Now I'm thinking, what do I put at the end of here? You know what? I'm going to go to prefabs now, like I was saying earlier. I'm going to use some glass, because why the fudge not? Stick a door on there. Brilliant. And that's how I've merged the two styles together. And I'm going to put in a round room. Stick some glass in the front of there, like little viewing windows for all the ships that are coming in and landing in. I'm going to use these as sort of supports, mainly because the other leg supports seem to disappear. And that seemed to have been a bug since, like, freaking eons ago. And I've reported it a couple of times. I'm fair sure other people have as well. And it still remains. So, yeah, I'm just going to use the uh, cages as supports for this base, chums. Um, yeah, I don't find any of the other supports are actually reliable. They disappear. The legs just vanish for some reason. And then it looks like your base is floating in midair. So here we go. I'm going to graph those onto the bottom. I also like that when you put these on the bottom of your prefabs, you can kind of see the corner bits that emerge through the floor in side of your base they can help line things up as well so there we go now there's no power hotspots near here so i'm going to have to build a load of solar panels but lucky enough i'm by a trading post so i can buy a load of the stuff that i need straight from the trading post freaking awesome so i don't really even need to put a galactic trade terminal inside of my base however that said sometimes when you've got a galactic trade terminal inside your base and one inside of the trading post 
when you combine the amount of resources that you can buy from the two, you can usually build some pretty awesome stuff. So I want two trade terminals. I'm a greedy little captain. Heck yes. Yeah. So let's get all these connected. Chicka boom. And we have power. Once I've connected all this side as well. That's probably too much power, but it's always best to have more than what you need. Just so it can last through the night. There we go. All connected. Sweet as. So I need some cargo and nanotubes, let's get those crafted, done diddly. Let's put that Galactic Trade Terminal interface on the wall, I'm going to need some circuit boards, we'll go buy these from this little floating washing machine. Hello my little floating washing machine, you type laundretti type dude. And let's go in, let's stick that on the wall, lovely job. And now the interior for here, you can see the cage that I'm saying about sticking through the ground there, with those sort of like little triangles, how cool are they? There we go, let's put these in like Tetris parts. Awesome, I'm going to have a scribble pad so I can do my news from up here. So I have a little news report in there as well, heck yes, and put that on there to make it look very reportery. And we're going to have a little floating droid, lovely little wiki droid, sweet as. Heck yes, this is looking sweet and dapper. Make the banners, the colours of my logo, red and black. Yes, because we've got white walls, so that all ends in keeping. Chuck in some lovely red and black sofas. How freaking gnarly do they look? Awesome, I'm going to stick those in the corners for anybody that might want to sit and wait for interviews, if we ever do interviews. Awesome, and I think this base is really starting to take shape. It's feeling quite homely. Let's put some ladders in here so we can get up into these domes. I'm thinking maybe just putting some frost crystal there. So I've got a place place where I can go to grab some easy glass. Heck yes, let's put a load of frost crystal in here. Brilliant. Let's just chuck all that in because then that helps base builders. So if you do want to come here and you're needing glass, over at my base at this trading post you can find all these frost crystal plants. I'm not going to pick them myself. So they can be here for you guys. So yeah, you should be able to build out some glass. I've got some of these on my freighter so I'm all good. Heck yes, done, done, done. And I'm thinking in here of putting in all of these. These sort of like um, red barrels and in the other side maybe Maybe putting in the green sort of trunks. So if you haven't got these red barrels or the green trunks, in the top right hand corner of the screen now chums, I put a link to the video of where I got these red barrels and the green sort of cases from so you can go grab your own. Oh, I'm one freaking short. Story of my life. Here we go. Let's snap that in. Boom. And we go back to normal speed. Heck yes. Right. So there we are. I've got a whole shed load of those. Now they're good for navigational data. So they're really good for nav data. And let's go and put in a uh, little manual save. And let's save what we've done so far, chums. And I'm going to leave this little portable save here so you can hit up a save before jumping through portals and all sorts of other shenanigans. But I'll be doing another video how I'm going to exploit this base soon, chums. So look out for the next video that's going to follow this one because I'm going to show you how you can make all those red canisters and the little green trunks replenish themselves with great ease just by using this little save point. I think you've probably got the idea just from that. Anyway, let's put some graffiti on the wall. I'm going to put 905 in here. We need it in black. There's no point in putting white writing on a white wall. Heck no, let's make this a little bit larger and we just type out the 905 up that way. Thank you very much. We don't want a 6. Heck no, we don't. Brilliant. 9 and done. Now let's go for a zero. Oh fudge, it's bloody shrunken. That means I've got to try and match it up to size. Well, we can always use that top bar as a sort of, sort of, I don't know, a guide. Mm, that's too big. That's too big, Steve. A little bit smaller. There we go. Done. And then we need a five. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, that's all one load of fingers on one hand, isn't it? Five. Done. We stick that. Oh fudge, it's gone all squiffy. There we go. We'll put it there. Chicka boom. Done. And I think that might be a little bit big. Oh, who cares? It's perspective, isn't it? Done! We've got 905 on the wall. Hopefully that's going to be one of the first things people see when they arrive through the portal. And they know that they are in the 905. And yeah, I can do my news from here. I can do some little reports from here. So I've got a little planet side base now, chums, where I can do a few bits from. You know what? That's freaking awesome. Right, so let's put in all those green cases I was on about here. First, I'm going to put in some shelving. I got that shelving from running derelict freighters. It's a derelict freighter part. So yes, you may have to do that if you haven't got this part. It's not available in the Nexus. No, it's not. Awesome. So yes, the derelict freighter parts came in the Desolation update. I mean, sadly, it is a random sort of numbers game of running the derelicts and hoping you find base parts inside of those derelicts. Now I'm going to stack these green containers on top of each other in some cases, but I like to have it so the blue screen is still visible. So yeah, I'm not going to sort of squiff them on top of each other. I'm going to do it in a way that it looks kind of believable 
and half decent. So there we go, I think that looks quite clean, quite believable, and half decent. Lovely, so let's just stack those on there. Got nearly 30 in this room, chums, and these things, they will give you the dehydrogen jelly, which is great for making frigate fuel. So here I've got nav data, frigate fuel, and also a load of over bonus items that I can sell for units. And yes, like I say, I'll show you how to exploit the fudge out of these next episode, chums, so be sure not to miss that. Maybe hit the bell or something. That'd be really freaking helpful for my channel and for you as a person and a viewer so yeah if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button as well fucking fudging awesome heck yes and this is my base how simple is that it's really freaking simple and it's kind of a nice looking base it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye it's just made using the prefabs but it's useful you know, you don't have to go to town and make something really extravagant. I mean, this just sort of works, doesn't it? It's pretty darn sweet. And hopefully if I am doing a few news videos from here, we're going to have ships landing and taking off, and you can hear those sort of sounds in the background. I think it could work quite nicely, quite swimmingly well. Awesome. Righto. Let's um, just save this quickly. Let's go and rename my base, capture a screenshot, and upload it to the servers. Brilliant. I'm going to call this NMSA Red Station, because, yes, it marks my red station in space. That's the whole reason I put this here mainly is a marker for me, but I might as well make it useful for you guys if you do choose to come and visit. And there's also some other things here, people. I'll see you next time, but I'm going to put up a few images of things that I found here that's cool. So there's an awesome exotic ship, a uh, tall-winged one, heck yes, and there's this. It's like a camo sort of droid wing barrel nose. How cool is that? And this can all be found in the Yucca it and there's the portal code till next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again well, thank you very much for watching if you like what you see please hit a like and a subscribe and i'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on patreon and over on youtube membership thanking you backers and if you want to support this channel just don't skip the adverts that throws revenue down my avenue or yeah just stay with captain steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen there's merch here now too